Enemy target spotted. Welcome back to World of Warship Splits with Terry. Today we are looking at a very interesting ship. This is the first Dutch ship in the game. This is the Friesland. Now, the Friesland was uh, a post-World War II design. And I think they started designing it round about towards the end of the war and she was built in the 1950s and has been active in the Dutch Navy until the late 70s and in the uh, I think around 1980 she was uh, actually not the Friesland but all the other ships in her class were sold to the Peruvian Navy where they continued serving for a bit. The Friesland herself was actually uh, scrapped at the time. But uh, yeah this is a post-World War, uh, World War II design and um, it's a little bit of a Bofors demonstrator. So everything that goes boom on this ship is made by Bofors. The main guns are made by Bofors, the AA is made by Bofors, and she had anti-submarine rockets. And I'm not sure if we can actually see them on the model itself, but um, I think 
Well, I can't spot them just now, but I, um, we, we do see the main guns and we do see a bunch of the, or is it, maybe it's these ones here up front. Uh, that's poor because they were forward uh, forward launching edge. It's probably these ones up front here that you see between the, the forward turret and the uh, the single mount uh, 40 millimeter Bofors here. These were rocket launchers, anti-submarine rocket launchers. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> That, that's, that was the thing. We don't have any submarines, so they are purely de purely decorative at this point. Now, um, Bofors is slightly known for, well, wild, widely known for the 40mm anti-aircraft cannons that we find on a lot of ships. And before we get into any more details with this, uh, with this destroyer, um, let's, have a look, let's have a quick look at the Seattle, the Tier 9 American light cruiser. Now I have upgraded the AA on the Seattle all the way. So the Seattle gets an AA of um, around 200 with 4.2 kilometers and 275 on the small caliber with 1.8 kilometers. The Seattle has a, an air defense alert too, which boosts both of these, if we can open it, uh, by 100%. So uh, a Seattle will effectively have, with, an act, with the, the active skill, 400 and about 500 550-ish uh, AA. And that'll become relevant in a moment, but uh, let's look at what the Friesland has on her. Uh, the, the engines, as far as I know, were pretty much the same as in the gearing, so they were license-built for, um, for, for the Dutch Navy. She's got 18,000 hit points and excellent fire and flooding resistance for a destroyer of 20%, which is very unusual. And um, other than that, is on the sturdy side of destroyers. She does. She's not extremely fast with 35 knots base speed, but um, she is very normally maneuverable, I'd say, for a destroyer. She has guns, as I mentioned, the 120 millimeter Bofors autoloaders, and these guns um, were considered pretty advanced at the time when when they were introduced. Because these had these were, as I said, autoloaders, and they actually had uh, an optimal dispersion, a, a rate of fire of 42 RPM. So we're, we're talking less than a second and a half per shot here. <laughs> so the real base reload of 1.7 seconds is very much realistic, actually. It's actually a bit too slow. The uh, the original um, gun, the the real guns, would have fired a little bit faster. So yeah, 1.7 second, but we only get four, two, uh, two twin turrets, one forward and one aft. Nine kilometer range. The armor piercing is nothing to write home about, but the high explosive is pretty good. And a four and a half percent fire chance is not, not bad either. The turrets rotate extremely quickly. And again, as you can see, if, if I'm going to zoom in a little bit, you can kind of see it here. Uh, these are definitely uh, dual purpose turrets because they can go all the way up and fire the aircraft. So... So much for the guns. Torpedoes. She doesn't have any. Yes, this is a destroyer without torpedoes. <laughs> so you, you might you might be forgiven to ask what 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 is this all about then? What's the point of having a destroyer if you can't torpedo things? Well, um, remember that I said remember what we looked at the Seattle just now. Well, the Friesland has a large caliber A of 240 and a small caliber A of 270. The Friesland also gets the Air Defense Alert 3, which gives us 100% on the large and 200% on the small caliber A. So the large one is about far close to 500 and the small caliber <laughs> is off the charts. <laughs> because we're gonna talk about somewhere around 800 uh, points of damage. And look at the range on the small caliber AA. The large caliber goes four and a half kilometers. And the, the small caliber goes over three. Well, there's a reason to this madness. This destroyer, <laughs> with its six puny uh, 40 millimeter guns and its 420s, has more anti-aircraft firepower than a Cleveland class light cruiser or a Seattle. And the Clevelands had somewhere between 12 and I think 30 or so of the 40 millimeter AA guns. So this is a this is this is just a, a little bit ridiculous. 
Well, the other things that she can do is uh, she has four sonars and four smoke generator twos. So, <laughs> so yeah, she might not have any torpedoes, but um, this this is an extremely fun little ship. And let, let's get to the let's get to the equipment because, as you will see, this is a bit of an AA build <laughs> on a destroyer. Yes. Uh, in in the first slot, I have the auxiliary, auxiliary armament modification, which gives us additional range on both large and small calibers. Uh, I do have the propulsion mod in um, in the second slot instead of the air defense mod two, and uh, there's a good reason for that because you really do need to occasionally dodge things in this ship, especially airdrop things. Uh, in the third slot, I have the air defense mod one, which gives us additional range. And for the elite bonus in this ship, I have the AA specialization, <laughs> which gives us additional damage. So with that setup, this is an absolute AA monster. <laughs> so why the hell would I do that? Uh, look, you, you could build, you, you could do a build, and I've tried this out. You could go with the main battery mod two and with the respective elite bonus and get the reload down to about 1.5 odd seconds. It's not a huge difference. Because the reloading so fast, it doesn't make a huge difference. Um, and you could very well use the uh, speed setup to get her a little bit faster. And that, that is a valid setup, right? So if you want to play more, if you're not so happy with, uh, you know, fighting fighting aircraft, and um, you really just want to play her more as a, as a gunboat, um, kind of like a Soviet destroyer sort of style, then, um, yeah, you could do that. But I have set her up completely for AA. And that's also in the consumables because we have the high grade coal for better for better stealth. But I'm also got the extra AA ammo in here <laughs> because honestly, I don't need main battery reload, and I don't have any secondaries, and I don't have any torpedo tubes. <laughs> so what's the point? <laughs> All right, the commander I've put in here, uh, and it's it's got to be the 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 Santa Elf because that's the only pan-European commander I do have. Uh, it's got the underwater protection and torpedo alert. You could think that you would use battlefield support given that she has both AA and hydro, but you really, you don't need five defensive AAs and you don't need five hydros. Um, you want the preheating, you most definitely want the AA defense expert because that actually extends the duration and shortens the cooldown. Uh, I have set her up for survivalist because um, you do need I do, you do need to play somewhat aggressive and you will be spotted for a lot of times when you're not currently in a smoke. And even when you're in a smoke with a fire rate of 1.7 seconds <laughs> between shots means you're pretty easy to, to stealth fire so, or to blind fire. So um, I have Recon and Surveillance. You could use the Exploit Weakness for a little bit additional damage. That's a very, very valid uh, thing as well. Uh, the Fully Prepared for Repair Kits. You absolutely positively want to have the Mist Weaver. And from there on, you really just the only thing that you might want to have is the IFAG because the AP really, really isn't great. If you're firing at something like German or American destroyers, even at close range, it's better to fire the, the high explosive because you're honestly not going to get a, a whole lot of full penetrations against more squishy DDs like um, Japanese mainline or British destroyers. You can fire the armor piercing for just this little bit extra damage, but it's not a huge difference. And the, the HE is pretty good on these. So I would generally just stick with the HE most of the times. So yeah, um, if we have a quick look at the historical Camus, <laughs> wouldn't you know it? It gives us large caliber AA range as if we needed that. But uh, of course, we're not doing that right now. We're going to sail with the Seaborne Assault because the, um, the Friesland is in a crate. So there's a slight chance. <laughs> if we have a very look at the crate, there's the Friesland crate for 600 which gives you a 0.6% chance of getting the Friesland. And there is the 1200 crate, which gives you a 3.7 or th almost 3.8 chance to get the Friesland. But none of them gives you the camo for the Friesland. So I went up selling with that. All right. So what do you want to do in this destroyer? I mean, what do you do in a destroyer without torpedoes? Um, well, you set fires and you play like an American support cruiser. Like you're chasing planes in a destroyer. Now think about that for a second. In the current meta, if anybody asks you, and then actually I actually did ask, and I had comments about this and challenges, I said, especially on the Asian server, if you are a destroyer and there's a competent uh, carrier player on the other team, uh, you have no fun whatsoever. Well, if you're in any other destroyer, then the Friesland. 
<laughs> All right, let me show you what I'm talking about. Now, in this first battle, and excuse my voice, by the way, I have been a little bit under the weather. In this first battle, uh, we are actually uh, in a tier 9 game, and uh, but there is a very competent Shokaku player on the enemy team. And uh, they're, they're teamed up with the Missouri. Uh, we've got Iowa, North Carolina, there's a Kutuzov, Yugomo, and a Kiev. Now, the Friesland. Uh, there's actually two Frieslands on this... <laughs> on our team in this game so this could get interesting but um, it, it, normally in a destroyer you would you would try to avoid planes and you would try to avoid being spotted because someone will shoot at you well you do have four smoke charges and these are smoke twos these are lasting a long time so I'm gonna take left flank here completely and I'm actually going to actively look for these planes um, I'm, I'm checking where the carrier is scouting I mean, he seems to be coming right for me. So we, we, we are looking at an initial carrier drop, which for most destroyers is rather unpleasant. And I mean, don't get me wrong, but if you let them hit you, it's the same with the Friesland. It's not that you can shoot all these down before they come in, but now they're coming about into range. So yeah, let's put up the, the defensive AA, and then, then we're gonna pop the smoke to confuse the torpedo bombers once they actually have come around. And look at the plane, <laughs> look at the planes dropping. Now we're gonna, we may be taking a torpedo here or two, but um, it doesn't quite know where we are. And yeah, we've taken one torpedo, so, uh, there, and I think, we, yeah, we've shot down 13 airplanes. <laughs> I think one or two dive bombers escaped from that, uh, from, from that, that wave, but that was about it. Now we have wasted a smoke here, obviously, but we've got three more and we're, we only got, well, I've what, like 40-odd 40, 40 seconds reload here. So, okay, that, that was that was fun. We can do that again. <laughs> the carrier wants to. Um, but let's uh, let's go and see what we can spot. There are a bunch of battleships over there. And my, my small... Oh, nope. Yugomo. Okay, Yugomo spotted. I'm going to go for armor piercing. I'm going to get the Hydra up. Okay, there come the torpedoes. Four kilometer range. So I do have to kind of dodge between those. I might turn, turn, okay, I might be taking one here because I don't think I can turn around in time. That's fine. Okay, that's one torp, but now the Yugomo, uh, well, he's, he, to his credit, he's shooting back at us. <laughs> but um, you've seen there was like a semi-pen on the, uh, on the armor piercing, but look at the, the rate of fire on this thing. Um, it's, it's, it's hilarious. And my, my smoke is off cooldown as well, so um, I can smoke up again. And um, the Yugomo has run into an island in his haste to get away. And now I can just keep uh, keep line firing him a little bit, and the carrier is dropping him as well. So he's probably going to run into those torps. Uh, let's see if he comes out again. Oh yeah, there he is. Okay, hello. <laughs> yeah, you're dead. <laughs> so I'm gonna just kill the Yugomo from here. We shot shot his um, shot his rudder off. Um, I'm not quite used to the um, to the arcs yet. They are a little bit on the slow side because they're just 120. So he goes undetected wisely. So I think he might make it out of here. But um, we'll switch over to the high explosive and set some fires on these battleships. Because that's the other thing you do in the Friesland. Um, you set fires to things. Now, uh, you could you could say, well, there's only two guns. Yeah, but, <laughs> but they reload extremely quickly. Uh, you do need to obviously play at, you know, uh, decent ranges. Oh, there's Yugomo again. Okay, let me just kill, quickly kill that guy. Come on. He's, uh, he's almost on no health, so there's no way he's going to get away. Carrier's made sure he's being spotted, so there he goes. And now we're just going to try and set the, what's it, North Carolina on fire. Okay. Um, uh, I'm not sure that Iowa was shooting at me, so, um, yeah, let's just smoke up. Again, you have four smokes, you can be you can be reasonably generous with them. And the carrier has learned not to attack a Friesland because, you know, um, yeah, <laughs> it's not really particularly helpful. Okay, that was a bit of a waste of a smoke. I really could have just fired at him because he wasn't even shooting at me. And I think the Iowa there has legged it and uh, left the North Carolina to his fate. But um, they're down three ships to our um, uh, to our one. So let's uh, let's just go and chase and burn on the battleship. And again, you know, you don't necessarily need the smoke because the nine kilometer range is pretty good, and you can you can just you know hold the trigger down <laughs> and just uh, just hold them with. Um, with high explosive. I am trying to hit the superstructure here to get the full penetrations for the high explosives, but um, it doesn't matter. It's the fires at the end of the day that really make the difference. Okay, I was shooting at me. That's all right. I'm just gonna vary my speed a little bit. Uh, oh, some more airplanes. Okay, defensive A up again. 
Um, I'm not sure they're even going for me. I think they're going for the other Friesland, unfortunately. Otherwise, we would have shot down a bunch of them. But, um... Yeah, the, you really if they, if they get within three kilometers range, that's when when the hammer comes down with the uh, with a, a small caliber A. But um, well, they're four ships down now, so it seems like we've lost the other Friesland. But uh, yeah, uh, obviously dive bombers you can't do anything against, but uh, torpedo bombers you are relatively qualified to to dodge because you have smokes. So you know because they need to, the carrier needs to see where you are in order to hit you. <laughs> So now it's just a matter of trying to burn down the Missouri. Now in terms of damage, um, this is not a destroyer where you're gonna regularly have the huge damage numbers, right? You're not gonna have the 100,000 plus, 120, 130,000 points of damage. That's very hard to do in the ship and you do need to get very lucky with your fires and you need to have people who damage control single fires and like this Missouri, which is doing the right thing. But of course he's under fire from pretty much everybody. And uh, now that the damage, that his damage cone is used, if I get another fire that'll stick. But uh, yeah, anyway, um, you're not gonna make the huge damage numbers. I usually end up somewhere, somewhere between let's say, 40 and 70 thousand points of damage. Um, and that's not the fun part, right? The fun part is, um, well, for, for the fun part is tickling battleships to death like this. But it's, the fun part is dealing with carriers. Right? This is this is like an um, this is like an American light cruiser that doesn't get citadeled, <laughs> and that can actually dodge torpedoes. Uh, airdrop torpedo. So um, there we go. That's the Missouri down. <laughs> and now we're just going to chase after the carrier. But uh, yeah, th that's the fun bit. So this is more like a meme ship for me. And and what I mean is that uh, you know she, she's very unusual as a destroyer. But pair this thing up with a cr uh, with a carrier. Or um, if you are in a destroyer and in in a and it, it, it honestly it doesn't matter if it's a tier eight, nine, or ten. This thing has enough AA to deal with anything. Um, but if you're in a destroyer and you see a Friesland on your team and the carrier is, and they, it is a carrier battle, just stick with him. Because um, you're, <laughs> you're not going to be in much danger while that thing is around. You, you can, um, you, you run support in the Friesland in, in terms of setting fires and pair this thing with a carrier. You, you're going to have, uh, well, the, the doubling down on setting fires, plus you're going to have the, um, AA, the AA defense. So uh, we're getting a couple more torpedo bombers coming in here. So I will have to actually deal with this. I'm just gonna hold, I'm just gonna slow down. I'll put the smoke up so he doesn't know exactly where I am. And um, yeah, I don't think he's actually even paid attention. But yeah, we've sh how many planes have we shot down? Because I was actively get taking him under fire. But yeah, <laughs> we haven't done the huge amount of damage, but we've still come out on top of um, on top of the game here because we've shot down 21 aircraft. And um, that was only one wave, really, that was focused on us. If we had, um, if we had multiple waves of, of, of carrier planes, then um, that might have been a different story. So let's do another one, um, again with carrier. <laughs> so in this battle, we are, and I have, had, I have had trouble getting into tier 10 games, and I've really tried. I've played maybe, I've, I've played a lot of games in this, 15 maybe, all in all so far. And I just didn't have any more time during the week. But I have tried to get into a tier 10 carrier game and I just couldn't get one. So you're going to have to content yourself with Cage uh, with a Taiho. So usually um, tier 9 carrier, legendary player in the enemy team. Uh, that's a bit of an issue. But um, I mean, you, you've seen, right? The carrier paired up with the Friesland for a good reason. So uh, where am I going to go? Uh, I'm going to go to the Cup Circle, of course. Because if there's one thing I'm not scared of, it's carriers. Now, how do you counter a Friesland? Well, it's easy, actually. Um, the Friesland doesn't have any DPM whatsoever. She completely relies on fires. Uh, she will lose gunfights with um, things like German destroyers. She will be hard-pressed to deal with, uh, with a daring. They are pretty evenly matched, especially uh, anything that's pan-Asian and has radars is toxic for you. Um, any kind of light cruiser, obviously, is a huge problem. And uh, even battleships, if they know how to blind fire into, into the smoke, um, because, you know, your tracers are super visible, it's relatively easy to deal with the Friesland. You, in, a, in any other destroyer, you can just rush this thing. You don't have to be afraid of it. It doesn't have torpedoes. And it can't gun you, gun you down in time, so it'll have to kite away from you. Um, okay, there's the Edinburgh, and I'm detected, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna smoke up here. And of course, everybody starts opening up on me, and yeah, that, that was a pretty decent hit from the Edinburgh. But um, could have been worse, only 3,000 points of damage. 
And uh, now we will try to set him on fire. He has torpedoes, so it, it always helps to have your Hydra up when you're sitting in your smoke. Just don't sit still in your smoke, right? That's very important. Okay, capture se uh, cap secured. Uh, don't sit still in your smoke, that's very important. I mean, I'm sitting still right now because no one's shooting at me, but if people are shooting at you, make sure you're moving around in your smoke so you're not that easy to blind fire. Okay, let's see if we can get a if we can get a, a fire set on the Amagi. Doesn't look like, but um, so far the carrier hasn't really focused on us. But uh, our smoke's expired, so we do need to kind of um, work our way away from a little bit. Um, and I just wanted to get rid of these of these fighter planes because again, I have four defensive AAs. I really don't have any reason to be conservative with them. I can just use them whenever I want to. Okay, there's, the, there's that pesky Edinburgh again. It would be really lovely if one of those battleships would actually shoot that light cruiser. Yeah, ouch, that hurt. Okay, but my smoke's going to be ready again in three seconds. So, um, yeah, there come some shots in from the enemy Friesland. And now I've got carrier planes flying over me. Unfortunately, my defensive AA is right now off cooldown, uh, on cooldown, but that's okay. You see, if, you, if you're moving around in your smoke, the carrier is going to have trouble um, actually hitting you, so I can easily dodge those. No torpedo hits for the carrier. And um, obviously don't, can't dodge dive bombers, but um, and let's can we please kill that Edinburgh because he's really really making my life unnecessarily hard. It'd be lovely if we could kill that thing. Uh, he's gonna be somewhere in the smoke. Oh, there he is. Okay, please battleships, um, to do something. There's a light. There's a bottom tier light cruiser sitting in the in the capture circle, and he's annoying me. Do something about it. Okay, let's see if we can set the Iowa on fire, but. Um, my smoke's expiring, and the Edinburgh is sitting in the smoke, so he's not going to spot me, but my smoke's going out, and the Friesland's going to see me, and there's carrier planes as well. So, um, well, there, now we might have to it might have to evac a little bit, because I don't know where that battleship there goes on the left. But our battleships seem to be... Um, yeah, where's that North Carolina going? Okay, Shapayev is under... is broadsiding in Edinburgh, that's unhealthy in a Shapayev. And is... Um, kind of probably... In, are you in need of a smoke screen, good sir? I can provide one, but that North Carolina is awfully overexposed over there. So, um, okay, can can we... Okay, Chapai, if you have a smoke, you can move forward and shoot that Friesland. Please, please, because he's going to make our carrier's life difficult. So can we bully this guy out of the um, uh, out of out of the cap? Because our battleships are doing nothing useful, most of them at least. Uh, the Izumo has just died sailing forward in a straight line. Uh, okay, there's Gasconia. Uh, no, you don't want the, the carrier to drop the Friesland. That's a terrible idea. Don't do that. <laughs> you know what happens when <laughs> when, you, when carriers do that. Okay. Uh, I think I might have to get out of the cup and give some AA support for the... Uh, damn it, the Gascogne is just out of range. Now there's the Odin coming in. And um, that North Carolina is under is under a lot of pressure. My smoke's about to expire, so okay. We'll, we'll help the North Carolina here and try and set the Odin on fire. I am now in a destroyer rushing to give a North Carolina air cover. <laughs> uh, because, yes, because reasons. Uh, that was some good hits on the Odin, but I think I'm just a little bit too late. I've got the defensive AA up, but I don't think I've got I've got time to actually save that North Cal, because, um, yeah, he's coming under air attack and he's there to torpedo hitting. If I was a couple of seconds earlier, that might have worked, but uh, not quite. So um, smoke up and let's see if we just kill the Odin. I drop because Odin has torps, but um, I think he's about dead now. Okay, so he's dead. And we're recapping because we have uh, extracted that thing from the capture circle and the, the, uh, see if we can push the Friesland out. Uh, I don't re I really... The Edinburgh is still alive. How is a tier 8 light cruiser still alive at this point in the game? Uh, it's uh, it's, it's in incredible. <laughs> Alright, we'll just take the Friesland under fire. Okay, now finally someone's doing something about the Edinburgh. Okay, I'll help. Let me see if I can get a fire on the Edinburgh, but... Um, yeah, don't shoot, don't shoot, I'm repeat. Oh, that, that, was, oh, that was the Shapayev. Okay, uh, I'm repeating it, the Friesland is correct. Okay, Black North Carl takes out the Edinburgh. Finally, the only battleship in our team that had, had a bit of sense to him. Uh, okay, so now we've got the cap secured, um, and I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna go and uh, see if I can bully the carrier away from killing anybody. Because uh, I, I don't know how, what's the health status on the rest of my team. Uh, okay, there are some, there are some torpedo planes coming in. I haven't really actually, I haven't actually paid attention. And I forgot to put my defensive AA up, so that's gonna hurt. So yeah, ouch. <laughs> uh, now I realize, a little bit late, but um, yeah, we still shot some of them down. Still lost one squadron, uh, a little bit. One squadron and a little bit. Uh, we still got one. At this range, huh? <laughs> At that range, we still got one. Let's see if I can kill the Gasconia. 
Well, see, if I had my defensive AA up, that would have been five more dead planes here, right, uh, right at this point. So you do need to pay attention um, to uh, you do need to pay attention to when, when you're getting under air attack <laughs> and actually use it. Makes sense. I don't think I can still burn the Gisconia down, but um, uh, we are losing the capture the cap circle as well. But uh, I think we are I think we are good. I have no idea where the carrier went. There are some more planes coming in. So um, this time I'm actually going to pay attention. I've got the defensive AA up, so these planes are not going to go home. And see, it didn't even <laughs> it didn't even get to drop anything on me. The plane was just dead. And um, I think yeah, I think we've got this. 390 to 348 until somebody dies right now, and I really don't want anyone to die. So um, please, please nobody die right now. Uh, we should be good. Okay, eight seconds. Okay. Black North Carolina takes out the Iowa. Well done, well done. Good job, uh, Black North Carl. So, um, yeah. And uh, we've got the clear skies for our efforts. And yeah, that is the Friesland for you. So again, um, is this ship overpowered? I mean, look at the amount of damage I've done, right? And I've, I've been firing my guns pretty much non-stop in this game. Uh, I've done 50,000 50, points of damage. In a tier 9 destroyer, that's not much. That's really not much. But that's not why you play the Friesland. You're not playing that. This is not a Smolensk. This is not a Shimakaze. This is a fun ship because it is an absolutely bonkers, murderous AA platform. This thing, this thing comes in third place after, after the Worcester and the Des Moines in terms of AA. And it's a destroyer with a smokescreen, which means you can actually dodge torpedoes, the airdrop torpedoes. This thing is an absolute killer of airplanes. And I think that's her purpose in life, and I, that's how I would recommend playing playing her. And uh, if this tips the meta a little bit, that destroyers in high tier games are not getting slapped by carriers that easily anymore, I think that's a good thing. And one one last thing before before I go, um, do you know what other ship has the exact same uh, 120 millimeter auto loaders? The Halland, the Swedish, uh, the the Swedish destroyer, and. If we are getting a pan-European tech tree line that has a even just somewhat comparable AA power, that's going to be a huge setup <laughs> for, um, for 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 how battles will play out in terms of um, in terms of uh, carrier defense. So I think that's going to be very very interesting. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Enemy aircraft incoming! Anti-aircraft gun on full alert. Enemy aircraft incoming! Incoming! Enemy aircraft incoming!